Hi everyone, my name is Nicole. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Mannheim Center for European Social Research. And today I'm talking about offline meetups and how they matter in requests for admanship. In my study, I focus on the German language Wikipedia, which is the second oldest and still one of the largest and most active language versions. It is overseen by roughly 200 administrators and it has a large offline component consisting of self-organized local meetups and editathons. In my research, I've looked at how offline meetups influence online behavior and today I'm talking about election participation. Now I'm looking at this through the lens of a more political sociologist, and we do already know quite a bit about explaining voting decisions. We do know they depend on party identification, rational calculation, and also people's social networks. However, most of past research is based on anonymous large scale voting processes, and this is quite different to elections on Wikipedia, which are very public and very open. Those Wikipedia elections remind one more of general assemblies where people get together and vote by raising their hand, but we don't know all that much about those general assemblies. There is some research already on Wikipedia which looked at requests for admanship, and they have often found that the online social network matters to explain voting participation and direction of votes. I want to extend this research and I want to see whether offline ties matter in voting participation. I use data from the German language Wikipedia from 2001 to 2020. And I use all election data, which I scraped from all election pages. Combine it with the meeting data, which I collected from all meeting pages. Combine this with user and activity activity data, which I get from the Wikipedia data dump and which includes all metadata on activities. I'm now interested in two different questions. I want to look at who votes at elections and I also want to look at who votes supportively at elections. When I focus on who votes at elections, then my population are all eligible Wikipedia editors. Um, I created the list of eligible Wikipedia editors by looking at the currently um, eligibility criteria which were in place at, at a certain date and I then created a list of all eligible users based on tenure and activity data. Using this I get almost 7 million observations of 30,000 different users which were eligible at at least one of all elections taking place. One user was only eligible at one, another user was eligible at all elections that I'm looking at, at all almost 1,200. When I look at who votes supportively, then my, my population shrinks. I'm only looking at those Wikipedia editors who actually voted in one of the elections I observed. And I only look at positive and negative votes, I exclude neutral votes. Doing this, I get 180,000 instances in which users voted, and these votes belong to 5,000 different users. One user or a couple of users only voted once, one took part in 800 elections. The thing I'm most interested in is the effect of offline meetups, so I do include a number of offline measures where I looked at meetups in the last 12 months. I control for the online network measures, for reverting behavior, for user activity, for tenure and for a year, and I run fixed effects linear probability models to include uh, control for between user variants. Who votes at elections? Um, we can focus on the red model, which is the full model, which includes all online and offline network measures and control variables. I look at three different variables, um, whether a voter or a user met the candidate, the number of meetups they have been at, always focusing on the last 12 months, and the proportion of other people that vote they have met. And find positive and significant effects for all of these variables, meaning that, um, for example, having met the candidate, if they have met the candidate in the last 12 months, they're about 15% more likely to take part in an election compared to if they have not met the candidate. And I'm looking here at within user differences, I'm running a fixed effects model. I also find the direction of votes is affected by offline meetup participation. Um, now, I do not find that people are more likely to vote supportively just if they have met the candidate. 
um, but we've seen they are more likely to take part. It also doesn't really matter at how many meetings they have been in the last year. This doesn't affect the direction of vote. What is important is the proportion of other pro or anti-voters they have met. If a user has met 1% more of the pro voters, they are also about 1% more likely to vote supportively themselves. If they had a, have met a larger proportion of anti-voters, they are less likely to vote supportively. You get a prob predicted probability plot of proportion of pro-voters and the anti-voters met, and the red line are pro-voters, the blue line anti-voters. The pattern is pretty clear that the people are much more likely to vote supportively if they know many people that also have voted supportively and much less likely to vote supportively if they know more that have voted against a specific candidate. Conclusion, I find that those personal voting decisions are influenced by users' tie, offline ties to the candidate as well as to other voters. Many questions still remain, so we don't yet know whether this is a problem or, or not. It really depends on the causal mechanisms behind those associations. It might well be that users discuss upcoming elections and come to a friendly consensus. It might also be that users just like voting like their friends, or it might be problematic and users feel pressures to vote in line with them. It might be that those strong offline times restrict the flow of information, or the candidates also go to meetups and campaign. So those are questions I cannot answer at the moment. My findings do roughly suggest that it is more that offline meetups provide cheap information and users are then more likely to take part since the direction of vote is not that influenced by just having met the candidate. And now I thank you for your time and I'm looking forward to questions.